I'll go ahead and drill the other side before I tighten that down. I don't know what's happened to the quality of my glasses. It used to be I could see a lot better with my glasses on than I can anymore. I guess they just don't make glasses like they used to. That's the only thing I can think. I know my eyes ain't changing none. My screwdriver there was so fine the head of my screwdriver wouldn't fit into it. That's bad. I think this one will work. I think that's about the little screwdriver I got. Probably pretty easy to strip a head on one of these brass screws, and this is just a straight headed screw, so it's not going to be terribly easy if you strip a head off of that to either get it down in there or get another one out. You know what's happening? The screwdriver's turning, but it ain't turning. Handle head's turning up here. Dang, let's find a better screwdriver than that. Dang, I said. This one here will work. This one here is a craftsman. You can say whatever you want to about tools. Back when I was a kid, there was only one good way to get tools, and that was to buy craftsmen. But that was the only good tool there were out there. I know nowadays there's a lot of different tools out there, and people buy them and all, but I'm an old guy. I always go back to craftsman tools, because they were always the best. I know Sears Roebuck Company ain't nothing like what it used to be. Well, back when we was kids, they weren't no big stores around anywhere near where we were. We had to drive to Atlanta to get that big store or something. We got everything we got out of the Sears catalog. My dad used to work in the city and there was a liquidation store is what they called it. It was a place where they sent everything and people had ordered and didn't want them sent back. He used to go in that liquidation store and buy things all the time. I remember him bringing home rifles. He'd go in there and find a good deal on a rifle, bring it home. We'd hang it on the wall, shoot snakes with it and such as that, you know, down in the out in the woods there where we live. Oh, it was a good life. He brought home a he brought home a weed whacker one time. That's before weed whackers ever been invented. It had a two-stroke gasoline motor on it. Weighed about 75 pounds. Had a strap he had to hang around his neck to hold it around with. But that thing had a saw blade on it. He'd go around the lake cutting down everything. Everything he could see. He'd just lay it out with that old big weed whacker. Thing made a racket like a chainsaw. Holy cow. Sure did a good job, though. My dad was like that. He cut, he cut grass. He cut every piece of grass on the hill. A piece of grass didn't have a chance. When my dad was around, cause well, if he saw a piece of grass, he'd cut it. He was a farm kid, you know. He growed up on farm. He's sharecropper, so and, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't at all ashamed of hard work. He knew how to do it. He'd done it all his life. We didn't farm much. We had 500 chickens. We farmed them for a while and had a few acres of corn and such. But me and my brother was lazy. We didn't make very good farm workers. Mom and Dad wouldn't beat us as often as they probably should have. So we got away with not working the farm very much. And then Mom and Dad, they were both working in the factory in Atlanta anyway. So it didn't seem to make a lot of sense to them to try to work in the factory and keep up farming. You know, so after a while, that's kind of went by the way, they just then turned into fields and they just started cutting the grass instead, so. We had a lot of grass to cut, I can say that for us. Of course, we was lucky Dad was able to buy a big old yard tractor. This is back when yard tractors had, had not really been invented much yet, and he found one that somebody had made down in Pennsylvania and uh, brought that big baby home. Yeah, it was a bear to keep that thing running. I don't know why. Seemed like it was always broke down. Hard to start. Holy cow. Had battery, you know, it was a battery start, 11 horsepower motor, but it seemed like it wouldn't run about 95% of the time. So we spent about as much time fixing that thing as we did cutting the grass with it. We did cut a lot of grass with it. All right then. So I've got one peg on there. I'm working on peg number two now.
Looks like I got another screw that the head doesn't want to work on. Dang. That's too bad.